Hello everybody, again. This is another story time. This has happened before I was born and I remember some of it since my father told us. My father had dated two crazy women in his life. One I met and one before I was born before he was married. And I should mention that he and my mom knew each other before when they were 14 years old, so they knew each other for a long time. And they hadn't dated yet. My father's crazy ex-girlfriend was a stalker. And be careful with this type of stalker, people. She sounded dangerous, and I don't remember everything. My, when my father was young, this woman came to his job, but she still works here to this day, claiming to be his wife. He didn't go to wherever they said she was. When his co-workers told him, Yo, man, your wife is waiting for, him, for you. He replied to them, I don't have a wife. And that... My father didn't fall for the whole, you know, the movie Obsessed with Beyonce. He didn't fall for that um, fake wife routine. This woman was so crazy. And when he was either going home or going to work, and this was snowing and a blizzard at a time, she was waiting outside for him. At my grandmother's house, I think. And she was waiting outside in a blizzard in a jean jacket. It's not pouring down her nose since of uh, well I come from me. I sometimes do this when it's cold. Everybody does that. Don't judge me. Anyway, she was saying, Oh honey, I'm God told me that I should control you. I love you. This heifer had the nerve to say I should control you and put God into this. Need to say I think my father got rid of her or she got lost interest in him. Whew. This was so long ago. I wouldn't like more than 20 some years or 30 just that bitch was crazy how crazy do you have to be to be in a blizzard and nothing but your clothes on your back and jean jacket on was not dripping and telling the guy that you're stalking, the guy you're stalking, that God told you that you should control this man, love this man. That's the details I know. And I don't know this woman's name, and I, lady, if you're watching this. Please, I hope we never meet. Ever.